Hey guys, and Audit MCOC here, and welcome to this video. So the last time I did a video about masteries, I did a video about my masteries. Today I want to be talking about masteries overall, what to focus on, what I like and what I dislike, and um, just a little preferences, etc. Just go through all the masteries in both the offense, defense, and the proficiencies tree, and then uh, see what's up. So I'm running suicides, but a lot of people are not running suicides, which is understandable because it's not for everyone. So let's just go through everything. So if we start in the offense, we have strength and strength increase the attack by six and then it goes to nine, 12, whatever. And in general, it's a pretty low increase. Uh, it does. So you just have to put in one point in basically all mastery trees to get to the next one. And the next one is greater strength, and that's that's when it starts to be percentage-wise, which makes more sense than just the, the, the low points, but still kind of bad in a sense that you only want one point, even with your low accounts. Just put one point in those. And here comes the first um, debate, because then comes courage. And personally, I don't like courage. The reasoning is... Uh, you have to get hit before it does anything at all. So in a lot of fights, it won't do anything because you either won't get hit or you won't have low health. So in those cases, um, it won't do anything at all. I understand that people have this with one point, two points or three points. And um, I'm not saying it's a bad mastery. I just don't like a mastery that doesn't do anything in most of my fights. So in most of my fights, whether it's Alliance quest, Alliance war, uh, questing, whatever. I will almost always start the, the fight with full health. So at the beginning of the fight, it doesn't do anything. When I get lower health, it obviously increased my attack, but it doesn't help me a lot in the fight. So in that sense, I, I understand why people have it, but I just don't like it because in 75% of my fights, it won't do anything at all. Then we have Pierce and critical hits from your champions, ignore additional 5% armor and resistance. And I mean, this this could make sense. I just like keeping it at one point to get the next ones because uh, it goes to 10 and 15%. Um, but the armor and resistance ain't that high on most champions. And, and even if it's a node with some armor, you probably use a counter that kind of counters the armor. So, so in that sense, uh, I don't think this one does a lot either. Then we have the lesser precision, increase the critical rating of all champions by 25, which is okay, but not insane. And the one below, lesser cruelty, increase the critical damage rating, which is also nice, but not super nice. The good ones are the next two ones. Precision, increase the critical rating of all champions by 425. And this is where something starts to happen. This is a really good one, uh, and the one below, where you increase the critical damage rating of all champions by 475. This is where all your champions start to do more damage. And uh, I really like that. And I think I'll uh, in the end, I'll go back to what you should focus on. I'm just going to run through the masteries now. And those are really good. And I really like, I know that some people have, I can't remember which one at four. I think it's the bottom one. But I like having both max because it's all about dealing damage. The more damage you deal, the faster the fight will be and the less chance there is for you to make a mistake and it, that's what it's all about in the end then we have this skill one which has been bucked for a long time i think they finally fixed it but i i don't like the, the class ones because it's only one sixth of the fight is going to do anything so and the mutant one um <coughs> can do some with bleed and that's pretty much irrelevant then we have Despair, and Despair debuffs applies to enemies, reduce their healing. And I really like this one, and I'm probably going to go to 3 soon. I've had it at 1 for a long time, and I'm going to go, I have it at 2 now, but I'm probably going to 3 on the next one, because <coughs> just having the healing and the regen with the willpower, etc. be less, it, it really matters in fights when you do uh, Alliance War, uh, especially. Then there's Deep Wounds, and Deep Wounds uh, can be really, really good. I just don't use a lot of Bleed Champions. But if you use your Nick Furies, uh, your X-23s, your Wolverines, whatever, this one is really good, and it could be a 5 out of 5 mastery. For me, it's a 1. Um, I mainly had 1 in Despair, 1 in Deep Wounds, and 1 in Assassin because of the PI. It, it, it raises the PI a lot. Um, but I've actually been enjoying uh, Despair a lot, so that's why I want to go to 3. 
The last one is assassin and against enemies with low health you get um, you get more attack and you decrease them and uh, this one can be a one to five as well. Some people love it. I think it's okay, but um, I know that some people have five in it. Then there's glass cannon and glass cannon is a debatable. You lose health to deal more damage, but in most fights, in my opinion, their health pool is so high that the increased damage uh, shortens the fight and thereby you actually kind of uh, increase your health because you have a lesser chance to make a mistake. It's all about avoiding making mistakes so the more damage you can deal the less of a chance there is for them to kill you so i like having this maxed even if you run suicides or don't run suicides i love having this maxed i would have it in all my builds and then you have recall which kind of sucks it's uh, pretty bad but you need to have it to unlock the liquid courage and the double edge and i think for me these are just so great because uh, it's like having boosts on all the time. It's like having attack boosts on all the time, and I, I couldn't imagine playing without them. I think it's. I know they have. Uh, they have some kind of uh, bad value in some cases, but in 99% of all fights, it's uh, it's just like attack boost. So I really love it, and um, I, I, as I said, I couldn't imagine not having it. Then we go to the defense, and before, like before, the two first are pretty bad. So just one in each. Salve is debatable. I'm probably going down to one uh, here again because the recovered health doesn't matter much. So the next time I'm going to change this, I'm going down to one and put the extra point in despair. And then the recovery, three out of three, you passively reach in more. And I think this is a pretty good one in all builds, basically, because when you unlock your willpower, which is insane in all builds as well, even if you don't run suicides, willpower is just insane, you will reach in more. Then I know a lot of people do the resistance and the physical resistance. And um, it makes sense. I could see myself having those as well. But I just like having the block proficiency higher. Um, doing the perfect blocks and the parries and the, uh, the block proficiency just helps out a lot. A few have points in Stand Your Ground, but I'm not a big fan. I had that uh, earlier. And having two points is a big PI uh, increase if you care about that for arenas, etc. Um, and then we come to the big discussion because willpower is a must for me. I think you should have it in all bills. Then you have coagulate. And I know a lot of people when they run suicide say you must have this, but you really don't. And trust me, I've been running this for more than a year and it helps. Of course it helps because you have a bleed debuff from, but it's so short, the, the bleed debuff and the damage difference or the, the health difference is so little that it, the three points are just a waste in my opinion. And I tried with and without it for a long time, and I just I couldn't see much difference if I wasn't running it. So for me, it was a waste of three points. Then you have Sature, uh, which does nothing because you need to get hit before it matters, and hopefully you don't get hit that much. Inequity is okay. Um, personally, not a big fan. Then there is Resonate, and Resonate is really good. It's like really, really good. You can put on... Uh, debuffs with weakness and the physical contact changes. The only problem with this mastery is if you're running this, your arena fights are going to be horrible because you're going to put up uh, debuffs on your opponent and then they're going to heal from willpower. So your arena fights are going to take ages. So just if you do a lot of arena, think twice before you add this one. But it's a really good mastery, really good for for questing and for alliance quests in general because it uh, sh it, it makes sure they don't deal a lot of damage. Then you come to the proficiencies. And for me, parry is a three out of three. You use parry in basically 80% of your fights. Um, and the increased stun and the less damage is, is just perfect. Limber is, um, is a debatable one. Uh, I have it five out of five now, but I'm probably not going to keep it. It's really, really good for Alliance War Defense. It's like the best, one of the best defensive uh, masteries for alliance war if you play high alliance wars this is a five out of five must if you don't i would probably just keep it at one the stupefy is really good when um when your opponent uh when you inflict a, a stun on an op opponent you just increase the stun so you make sure you can parry heavy or do whatever you want even if they run limber um, and i really like having it a three out of three no matter what build i do dex however is a one point mastery always don't ever put more than one point in this 
the base idea is you can evade attacks, whether it's special attacks or normal attacks, but having more points in it just increase your damage after and it doesn't really do anything. So only have one point in this always. I like both of these petrify and um, pacify, but it's a, it's a, it's a point matter. It's hard to get the points for those. Um, I don't mind them. The XP ones, you can use them on low levels, but it doesn't do much. And the same with the gold, you get a little more, but it's not really worth investing in it. So I wouldn't go to those. The cosmic one doesn't do anything. The mystic one is insane. If you use a lot of mystic champs, this one is just crazy. If you're using doom or magic or Claire or whoever you're using, just uh, nullifying those buffs and uh, and getting more power, especially like with Claire, for instance, you nullify them, go to a special two, and you can just keep using special two. The same with Doom or or Magic or whatever. It's it's really really good. I run this once in a while, and um, some people even only run like three or four points in it because if they have five, they are afraid they go to special three too much. If they want to keep recycling their special twos or ones or whatever it is. It's a really good one, and if you use Mystics a lot, it's, it's worth the investment. It is pretty steep to unlock, though, so be careful. And these ones were from the old Alliance War, where you could spot hidden defenders. Uh, you can also use them for questing, but it's not really worth investing. So that's all of them. So what I want to say is what you should focus on. For me, get Cruelty, get Precision unlocked. It's, pre it's a little steep investment, but it's, it's a lot of damage you can do. So make sure to unlock those. In the beginning, you want to unlock parry. You got that from the beginning. And then you want to unlock the dexterity fast because that's really important. Uh, and in the defensive three, get to willpower. Willpower is just a game changer. It's all about sustainability and uh, being sustainable. So I hope this walkthrough helped you a lot to, to the masteries. And if you had any questions about the masteries or anything, uh, make a comment in the video or uh, join the Discord and talk about it. And uh, I hope I'll see you soon on the channel.